Greetings to all my fellow watch enthusiasts on YouTube and Facebook and wherever else this video is being seen and shared. Uh, Celine Driver once again uh, bringing you another unboxing and review of a Dan Henry. <clears throat> now um, I've only experienced um, Dan Henry uh, through videos um, mostly from uh, Urban Gentry, uh, TGV, Tristano. Um, he's reviewed several of them. He's very uh, high on them. And um, he, he likes them. He, he, they're part of his uh, rotation. Um, and uh, that's pretty good endorsement for me. I mean, uh, I know TGV is uh, controversial to a lot of watch uh, folks, uh, I've always found him to be uh, very informative. Um, I've learned a lot from watching his videos. Uh, I enjoy his videos. I don't have a problem with him or the way he approaches things. Uh, so his endorsement of Dan Henry is uh, already pretty good for me. Uh, now, I didn't buy this watch. Um, this watch is actually a, um, a 2020 uh, Hanukkah gift. Uh, as I make this video, we are in the uh, the um, eight days of Hanukkah, which ran from uh, December 10th, 2020 to December 18th, 2020. Uh, a very good friend of mine, um, he goes, he's also a fellow YouTuber, uh, goes by the name of Uncle Lou. That's not his real name. Uh, he is, a, he runs a sports channel a college specifically a college football channel uh, I am very uh, heavy into college football I am a Florida Gator fan uh, he is actually a Georgia Bulldog fan which is our main conference rival in the Southeastern Conference is Georgia uh, and we've known each other for several years now uh, we've met uh, we have good rapport uh, he is a tr he is a trash talker uh, par excellence. Um, and uh, I've been a big supporter of his channel and he has supported my channel from time to time. And he decided for whatever reason to uh, gift me uh, a watch. Uh, I've also advised him on buying watches recently uh, and he's bought made several purchases um, based on my recommendations. He's very happy with, with that. Uh, and he decided... Um, uh, you know, to uh, buy me a uh, Hanukkah gift. <laughs> Boy, that's tight in there. So inside the box, because I wanted to do an unboxing of this video, uh, you have this plastic uh, tube, splits in the middle. It has this kind of uh, 3D waffle pattern going on here. Dan Henry logo. Inside the tube, you have a roll. Nice canvas roll <clears throat> that's uh, held together with this here. And we open it up and we have uh, three compartments. We have an extra strap, leather strap. Uh, I don't think this color goes particularly well with the colorway of this watch, uh, but you know, to each his or her own. You have a uh, instruction manual, which really isn't necessary, but okay. And you have an international warranty card, which for some reason, even though this watch was bought directly from Dan Henry uh, by Uncle Lou, uh, it wasn't filled out, but it does have the holograph for authenticity's purposes. And in the middle compartment, you have the watch itself. Which, ironically, even though my uh, friend Lou is a huge Georgia Bulldog fan, and Georgia Bulldog colors are red and black, uh, he decided to buy me the gator-colored uh, Dan Henry 160, uh, 1962, which is uh, blue with uh, orange. <clears throat> and orange and blue is... Uh, uh, all viewers of my channel know are the uh, Gator colors. And it has a blue leather uh, strap 
with uh, orange uh, keepers. They look orange to me. I mean, look at the orange here versus the orange on the second hand there. Uh, looks orange to me. Backside is uh, brown, but... And, and it, it's a great gift. I mean, uh, I was very um, flattered that he uh, decided to do that. I'm going to fire the chronograph up here so we can watch it function. Um, I was very, uh, very happy to accept this. And, uh, of course, uh, I know Lou will probably watch this video. Uh, so thank you, uh, Lou. I, I appreciate the, the gesture. I'm very happy uh, to accept this gift. And uh, don't worry, folks. I I, I bought uh, I bought uh, Lou uh, Hanukkah gifts as well. Not nearly as um, imaginative as this one, but uh, <laughs> certainly a nice um, a nice gift for him. I hope he likes it. Uh, you have a tachometer scale out here on the uh, on the bezel. It's obviously a non-rotating bezel. Uh, we have a. a a uh, panda, well, it, it would be panda if it were one of the other colors, but a three sub dial uh, design. At the nine o'clock, we have the chronograph minutes, which you can see is ticked over as the chronograph second hand has uh, passed the 12 o'clock. So that's your chronograph minutes, and that goes up to 60 minutes. Uh, over here on the three o'clock, we have a 24 hour scale. So, um, you know, if you're in the AM or PM uh, range, and we can see that we are in the uh, AM range right now, you have a date window at the, I guess you would call that the 430 position, color matched to the uh, dial, which is nice. And at the six o'clock, you have your running seconds. On the back side, you have uh, a screw down style crown uh, of crown screw down case back i think it's a screw no actually it's a press on isn't it it is press on sorry my mistake it is press on uh you have various information about the watch including the fact that this watch is a limited edition this is watch number 756 out of 1962 uh, pieces so almost halfway um, and you have a embossed uh, they they use the word embossed on the website so I'll go with that uh, image uh, profile image of a uh, what is this this is a 19 what 1962 um, Maserati Tipo 60 birdcage race car I believe it's a 1962, hence the uh, hence the number of the watch. But I'll leave the I'll leave the possibility that I'm wrong there. Quick release spring bars for the strap, so this thing could be definitely a strap monster if you wanted it to be. And we've let the chronograph run, good enough. Stop it with that, and of course, being a mecha quartz, it is a flyback reset and it resets beautifully to zero everything lines up very nice <clears throat> i'm going to give you a wrist shot the strap is a little stiff here so uh permit me a second or two to get it on there we go very nice okay and there you see uh this watch on my seven and a quarter inch wrist it fits very nicely it's it's a it, it is a smaller watch but it doesn't wear small actually it wears quite nicely you're holding it in my hand it looks and feels smaller than when i actually put it on my wrist so uh that that really is a good thing i love the uh the hints of orange on the blue watch. a blue watch is my favorite color watch obviously um, I love the hints of orange. Uh, I think the orange and blue combination is a, is a, is a perfect combination of colors for me. I wish they had done orange stitching on the, uh, on the, uh, strap. I think that would have picked up the, uh, watch face, 
uh, orange a little better. I mean, the orange keepers are, are a nice touch, but I think uh, orange stitching would have been better here. Because to me, it looks sort of off-white. Um, now, yeah, it looks off-white to me. It does not look like uh, orange to me. Anyway, have my um, sheet of facts here so we can uh, give you the vital statistics of this watch. This is the Dan Henry 1962 Racing Chronograph, hence the race car on the back. Uh, this is the blue combination. There are three other colorways. I'll leave a link to Dan Henry's website so you can check out the offerings that they have there. Uh, they have all kinds of different uh, chronograph offerings and um, really is a, a very, very nice watch. Uh, this is a limited edition. As I said, it is limited to 1,962 pieces. This is number 756, as you saw on the back of the watch. Uh, where is it? There, right there. Focus, there we go, 756. <clears throat> it is a 39 millimeter diameter case, uh, maybe a touch smaller than I'm used to, but like I said, in my hand, like this, it feels small, but when I put it on, it actually feels quite nice and uh, quite correct in its size. It is a 13 and a half millimeter thick watch with a beautifully uh, domed uh, crystal. It is a K1 mineral crystal, um, domed, AR coated, uh, not sapphire, so We'll see how well it um, lives, uh, you know, with respect to scratching. I think K1 is a little harder than just a regular mineral crystal. I'm not really sure. Uh, but we'll see how it holds up. I I'm fairly gentle on my watches anyway, so I, I don't think this watch is going to disintegrate in the next week. Uh, 20 millimeter lug and 45.9 uh, millimeter on the tip to tip now these are all measurements i took off the dan henry website so that's their numbers 50 meter water resistance so it's i guess you could call it swimmable uh i really wouldn't swim with it not with a leather strap anyway um it could get wet you know get caught in a rainstorm you're washing your hands that kind of thing um Perfectly wearable in that situation. I wouldn't want to get. Uh, I wouldn't want to go swimming with it. I would take it off, leave it in the, uh, leave it in inside, and um, just not do that. There are other watches out there in the world where you can swim with. This is not really in my mind one of those. Uh, case is three sixteen L stainless, as you would expect. Uh, as I said, K one mineral crystal. Inside you have a uh, Seiko VK, that's Victor uh, Cathy, 63 Mecha Quartz uh, chronograph movement with the flyback, uh, as you saw earlier. Um, it was suggested to me that uh, because I had, in my most recent videos, I had mentioned about, you know, maybe you should think about things down the line with watches you buy, like serviceability. Uh, you know, there are watches out there where they have, they're wonderful and beautifully designed and, 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 and just tick all the buttons. And then you go to service the watch two or three or four years down the line and you find out that it's a goofy movement or a customized movement or something along those lines. And you end up paying, you might end up paying a third of the cost of buying the watch to service it. And it has to go back to a special factory or in some cases of watches I own, it may have to go back to the country of origin. Uh, I'm looking at you, Sarpaniva. I'm looking at you, Rolex. Uh, special service departments, not special, uh, not going back to Switzerland. I'm looking at you, um, who else do I have? Where That's a problem. 
uh, a couple of others, but I don't want to mention their names. Um, whereas, you know, with a Seiko movement or a Miyota or an ETA or a Salida, a Saleta um, movement, those are common movements, quote unquote, common movements, and can be serviced by any competent watchmaker. This is one of those. It's a quartz movement. As you can see how it goes tick, tick, tick. That's a quartz movement. It's a mecha quartz. Uh, it's a Seiko. Even if the movement's not repairable, you can have you can buy one of these movements on eBay for, for pennies and uh, throw it in there and have your watch back. So definitely uh, from now on, uh, because I've been bitten by this problem a couple of times on other watches I own, I am going to take into account serviceability. Um, and a, a, a Seiko Mecha Quartz movement, it certainly falls into the category of something that can be easily serviced. So that's it. I mean, it's, it, it, I mean, a wonderful, I, I, now I see why uh, TGV likes these watches. They, they're good size. They're good. They're really good quality watches. Uh, they're well packed. Uh, they have a nice presentation to them. Uh, they look great. They're easy to read. They're easy to wear. They're, they, they, they come with fine uh, mechanicals inside of them. And I, now I understand what the, what the attraction to Dan Henry is. And of course, again, this was a wonderful gift from a, from a friend, uh, Uncle Lou. Um, if you are a college football fan on, on my channel, and you're not subscribed to Uncle Lou or Uncle Lou or his second channel, Uncle Lou on YouTube. What are you doing? Get over to those channels. I'll leave links to both those channels in the description. Get over there. Sub up. Even if you're not a, Bull, a Georgia Bulldog fan. I sure as hell am not a Georgia Bulldog fan. He's got subscribers on there from from uh, all across the college football spectrum. He's funny, he's entertaining, he's informative. And yes, he's a little abrasive and he's a little insulting. But he's also a good guy. He's good people. And Lou, I appreciate the gift. I even appreciate that you you bought the... Now, he didn't get the watch. He had it sent directly to me. So he never touched the watch. So... I appreciate, though, the fact that you bought an orange and blue watch uh, for me, and, and uh, I am uh, I am very happy with it. So I thank you, sir. Uh, and happy Hanukkah to you and your family. And happy Hanukkah to all the folks who are watching uh, this video, uh, as we are in the middle of Hanukkah when this watch is released, uh, when this video is released. So everyone, uh, of course, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Comments, questions, suggestions down below. I do read them all. I do respond to them all. However, if you are going to troll me or you're going to leave links uh, that take people to sites where their information will be stolen or you just you know get on there and start throwing insults uh, that are not necessary, uh, I will delete the comments so nobody sees it and then I will block you so nobody sees you. Um... If you're new to the channel, of course, welcome. Uh, watch all the videos you want. I, I absolutely encourage that. However, when you are done, before you leave, please click that subscribe button and click the bell icon so that when I release new material, new content, you are alerted. Or when I go live, which I try to do every Wednesday afternoon at noon Eastern time, or when time and opportunity permit me on other days of the week, you'll be alerted to that. You can come over and join the fun. Everybody, stay well, stay healthy, stay safe. Happy Hanukkah. I'll see you in my next video.